You know, the first time I came to the museum was about seven years ago. I had come here for a reception, and I, I was so awed by everything. I said, wow. An early memory of the museum that I have was uh, my wife and I had our first date here. My first memory of the museum was walking in the door at City Hall the first day it opened. I moved here in 1955, and I believe the crest had just arrived. Am I right? That sounds about right, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. And it was spectacular. The, the center of this building has been here for quite a while. 1959 was And then we've expanded mm -hmm. it from time to time. I think the museum is so important because it allows us all time to reflect and discover more about who we are, more about how we fit into a larger place in the world. You know, I think the role of the museum in our community um, emphasizes the word community. I think it makes us more complete as people. I just think that the arts play such an important role just in general um, in building kind of a diverse community. So a lot of times when you think about a city that you want to live in and a city that you know you find interesting, it's not just the shopping or the restaurants that you know make you want to live there, it's the other things that there are to do. Um, when I think of cities that I really enjoy going to and spending time in, um, it's those cities that kind of have a little bit something extra to offer. This museum is a great example of a, a city-public partnership. Mm -hmm. It's made up of a great building, uh, largely paid initially by the city, and thereafter by individual donations from citizens' mm -hmm. companies. Uh, the art is almost entirely has been given by <coughs> various donors, uh, we have a collection that embraces the whole world. You can come in this, in this museum and you will see all of civilization right here. Uh, and that's, we don't, we, we, we hit every continent. We do. Yes. And I can certainly tell you that this is the crown jewel of our cultural institutions. And just to uh, have this marvelous, marvelous collection uh, by the way, what is even more fascinating is that our museum is owned by our city. But to have this fantastic collection of art and culture and pieces, and it's not just paintings, I'm, I'm just talking about whether it's Native, you know, my wife is from El Salvador, so I love the fact there's so much of Native American art out here. Well, I think primarily it's a, a great place to expand your way of thinking about things. I think art has a way of introducing ideas and places and, and things that uh, are unlike any other way. I think you can talk about something and you can read about something, but when you engage a piece of art, you learn in a totally different way uh, in your mind. And I think it, for me, and I think for a lot of people, that's a very important part uh, that the museum plays for people. It can really transport you to other places in your mind, unlike anything else. I talk a lot to my kids about just having that experience of being in museums and being around art on a daily, on a daily basis in a way where it's not, it becomes a part of their daily life instead of it being, you know, uh, just like a special trip that you do. But that, you know, it's a place that's supposed to be there for the community to come and go and it's not supposed to be an intimidating place. It's supposed to be a place where you feel welcome and you always find something new and, it, you know, so that it's always fresh and keeps you coming back. And I think that's really good for kids growing up. I think this museum takes us beyond our individual worlds, our worlds of Birmingham or Alabama or the Southeast or the United States. It takes us to other cultures, to other peoples, to other worlds, and I keep coming back to the word complete. It makes us more complete people. We have so much to offer here in uh, the Birmingham Museum of Art, and uh, I think it plays a vital role in what it offers the folks who live here in Birmingham if they'll come take advantage of it. Look of Love started as an idea about three years ago and it has taken that long to bring that idea to fruition. 
Uh, it's every collector's dream to see all of their collection displayed so beautifully in a single place and seeing the public enjoy it so much. So it's been a tremendous, tremendous pleasure for David and myself to wander into the gallery and see visitors enjoying what we have taken so long to co collect, lovingly collect in a mass. My favorite collection um, would be the American Art Collection and then the Wedgwood Collection because I've watched the Wedgwood Collection grow over the years. And my involvement with the American Art Collection goes back about five years. Uh, one of the reasons I personally got involved with the museum is after I came and saw the Callahan Gallery. So more than a piece, it is just everything that the Callahan family has done around Indian culture and to preserve and promote it in Birmingham. So anything that we can do around that collection is what my favorite activity is with the museum. When I was a little girl, my mother would take me up to the third floor and I'd always pay my respects to St. Lucy and St. Agnes, and I still do that. <clears throat> when I walk in the museum, I have to say, and St. Agnes was my favorite because she was holding a little lamb. And it's just a wonderful painting. My favorite piece of artwork at the museum would probably be this large portrait of a landscape that's in the, um, the American Gallery downstairs. You can't miss it, it's huge. It's the first thing you see. I'm really interested um, in contemporary art, uh, and I would like to see the contemporary uh, section expand. Well, I hope the museum, five or 10 years from now, is still playing an important role in the community. And I hope that role increases uh, as we find ways to engage uh, more visitors, uh, have more people come to see this wonderful jewel of Birmingham and Alabama, and uh, I guess in summary it would be more of the same. Certainly the museum has outgrown its current physical capabilities. So the, for example, the collections are so big that half the time you can even show everything of importance even within a single collection. Second of all, you know, uh, it's six years old. You know, it, even though it has grown, so the physical infrastructure, the location, I think a number of the different cultural communities need to come together and create a multi-purpose cultural center where the museum is the centerpiece of bringing people together. You know, the one thing that um, frustrates or saddens me about the museum is that I don't think enough people recognize it for the little jewel that it is. We have a wonderful museum. We have fabulous pieces that could compete with pieces from other museums around the world. And I would love to see us have the kind of profile and the kind of pride that museums in much bigger cities have. Well, we want things that'll last for centuries. And I think what we want to do is think about our century. What are we leaving? for the future. How will they judge what our civilization was and how will they look at it through the eyes of art? I would say come try it. It's really a great place to open your mind and uh, it, it's worth a visit. But when I do come, it's always like coming for the first time because you always see something that you didn't see the last time and it has so many different exhibits that you just, you know, it's so much to do and it's something for people of all ages. Our programming has reflected a lot of what we hear back from our members and individuals in the community. I hope the museum continues to do that and can grow and embrace as well as anticipate desires from our community. This is a truly great museum. It's one of, it's, we, we think it's the best or one of the best in the Southeast. I'm Richard Arrington, a fine mayor that loved, really knew the importance of the museum. And he said no great city can be without great art. And he said the arts and culture are a magnet for events, people, and business or development. The city's commitment to art and culture at Birmingham is strong, not only because it's fun, but because it's smart.